All right, what's going on, guys? These are my top 20 black metal albums of all time. I uh, might have missed, like, a few just because some of them are kind of, like, impossible to get on physical format. But I went through my whole collection, and I uh, picked the ones that resonated the most with me. And these are the top 20 in no order. So we're just going to start from uh, top of the... Uh, Top of the collection here dark funeral secrets of the black arts um i picked this album up when i was like i don't know like 13 i was just getting into black metal and i was like everything sounds the same but when you really digest this album it's just a masterpiece man like everything is just like the the, the entire atmosphere on the whole album is just like unmatched i've never heard another album like this I and mean, yeah it's blast beats and satan every three seconds but this album's fucking gold and the rest of the stuff they've done since this is um it's pretty good you know like diabolus interium teratotis sanctus and even like the recent stuff it's like it's pretty good but this is the crowning achievement i love this fucking album after that and again this is in no order <laughs> Uh, we have Emperor with In the Nightside Eclipse. And this is a toss-up between uh, this album and Anthems to the Welkin at Dusk, which I just saw live in its entirety. Anthems to the Welkin at Dusk. Um, they played, like, most of this album, too, as, I, I guess, like, the rest of their set. But, I mean, this is another one I purchased when I was, like, 13. And I didn't get it for a while. And now that I get it, it's like, all right. <laughs> like, this album's fucking sick man like probably easily the best symphonic black metal album ever recorded and um yeah there's, there's a reason these guys draw the crowds they do i mean what fucking absolutely amazing album after that is drudka or druk with forgotten legends after blood in our wells or Swan Road and Blood in Our Wells, everything can kind of fuck off. But um, th this, in my opinion, is their crowning achievement. It's even better than Autumn Aurora. Um, I've always been like a big minimalism guy, so it kind of makes sense. But this album holds a legacy between like my friends and I too, because we used to like go out on the golf course late at night and like smoke weed and like just listen to this and just kind of let it soak in. As well as bands like, you know, Burrs on Wolves and Throne Room. It's just, like, fucking captures you, man. This this is worlds better than anything they've done since, quite frankly, Autumn Aurora. This is, you know, if you want to get into this band, check this fucking album out. After that is a German band that started off on Van Records. I think they actually ended on Van Records. Verdunkelm, self-titled. Raw production, but just the most unique style of black metal I've ever heard, ever. I mean, it's just timeless, timeless fucking release. I swore a small trumer. Um, I won't even try to, I, I don't know. A lot of these titles are kind of hard to pronounce, but this album, man. And the one after this is just as good. It was really a toss up between this and uh, the one with Der Hersher on it, whatever the fuck that one's called. Absolutely amazing album. Um, like I said, this one and the one after are just like top tier fucking black metal. It has like uh, clean guitars in it and it's really raw and it's kind of in the vein of Urfoss in, in the sense of like the style of uh, music, but it's different. Uh, definitely check this out if you haven't already. Verdunkelm, fucking fantastic. And after that, we have Oliver's Berg Tat. Absolutely fantastic album. I, I'm sure most of you people know this. You know, this is what paved the way for, like, Agalock, Wolves in the Throne Room, stuff like that. Um, just, like, a mystical journey, this entire album. It's just absolutely amazing. Um, there's clean guitars, strong medieval atmosphere. Fantastic album. And after that, divvy it up a little here. Rotting Christ, Sanctious Davalos, absolutely, absolutely fucking amazing album. The darkest album they've ever made. Um, all the songs on here are just amazing. His vocals are just 
I mean, again, just fucking timeless music, man. Like, like yeah, this is like melodic black metal, but the production and the atmosphere is just like so dark, but in like such a uh, inviting way. Like all, like, I mean, Visions of a Blind Order, fucking Servant Heaven, Shades of Evil, those two together, Servant, he Servant Heaven and Shades of Evil are like, oh and then the last song too, the title track, just absolutely amazing. I love Ryan, everything Ryan Christ has ever done is just amazing to me, but this is like their best, in my opinion. And then after that, we have Trupp and Sturm with, uh, it's not Fields of the yeah, Salute to the Iron Emperors. I love this album. In, in my opinion, this is the best, what do you want to call it? Bestial black metal, whatever, fucking black death metal. Like, I love Black Witchery, I love Revenge, Conqueror, all those Titan Blood. But this album is so fucking good, man. I used to sit out on the golf course when I, back when I had, when, when I was living where I was, and I'd get off work and I'd go out on this golf course I lived nearby and I'd have my practice pad with me and I would just drum to all these songs. And I don't know, it's really just stuck with me through the years. It's a short album, but man, it's just quality fucking war metal right here, man. This It doesn't get any better than this. Like, Thoribos and Titan Blood come close, but this is, like, where it's at. And after that, we have Slagmauer with Phil Smith's Terror. I love their back catalog. It's pretty good, but this is, like, the vocals on here are so fucking awesome. And just the songwriting in general is just amazing. Um, I'm, like, eagerly awaiting their new album. They keep teasing at it, and it's annoying. And they've released, like, two singles. And it's like, all right, come on, where's the fucking album? Um, it's a weird band, but if you haven't heard these guys, seriously, check this album out. It's fucking awesome, man. It's so good. Uh, I don't even know how... It, they're from Norway, but they're not... They don't play Norwegian black metal. They play black metal, but it's not, like, the Norwegian like to shooter Gorgoroth type it's I guess it's avant-garde but it's very wall of noise kind of atmospheric there's no blast beats but it's amazing album and then after that is a classic satiricon nemesis divino what do I have to say I mean come on this is one of the best black metal albums ever period you got frost on drums you got an amazing production. You got Nocturnal Koto on guitars. I mean, what can I say? Uh, after this, I like Rebel Extravaganza and the one that came out, Deep Call Upon Deep. Otherwise, um, the ones post this album are like, eh. But this album, man, I mean, it doesn't get any better. And here's another another cliche for you. <laughs> the Mysterious. This is like the quintessential black metal album. This, this is black metal. I mean, you know, if you don't know this album, I don't know why you're watching this video. It's just, I mean, yeah, it's cliche, but this, I mean, it, this is black metal, man, I mean, you know? After that, and again, this is in no order, we have Zest Hereticum by Enthroned. And it was a toss up between this and Apocalypse Manifesto, but I like this a lot. Um, the vocal, the production is, it's polished, but it's not. The drumming is just like, what the fuck is going on? The vocals are amazing. It's a super fucking brutal album. Absolute classic. Most of their stuff is really good. I, the stuff post-Sabathon on vocals are, is kind of like... Like, Tetracarsis is cool, but like everything else is like... Obsidian is really cool, but otherwise, like, whatever. But this album's fucking amazing. If you haven't heard this... Please check this out. Um, super underrated band. After this, Immortal, Pure Holocaust. This is the best Immortal album, period. Um, uh, the one that just came out this year, it's like all right. Their other stuff is like good. I feel like At the Heart of Winter is like criminally overrated. The first half of At the Heart of Winter is very good. The second half is like eh. 
Uh, other than this, uh, Battles in the North, of course, fantastic album. The first album's like pretty good. Blizzard Beast is good. Sons of Northern Darkness is like kind of nostalgic. Uh, but this is their best, easy. Pure Holocaust, man, check this out. After that, we have Ford Arrest with Metal Noir Quebec. I love this album. I don't even care that there's programmed drums. I usually am a big stickler for that. It like, kind of annoys me, but man, the atmosphere on this album is just bleak and entertaining and invigorating. I love, love, love this album. I think this is probably their best. I love everything that these guys have ever done, but this is my personal favorite. Great atmospheric black metal. And then after that is one of my all-time favorite bands ever. Rain Upon the Impure Man by Ruins of Beverest. Doesn't get any better than this. This is a continuation. Like, you know, Burzum has always done it the best or has, you know, they, they did it the best as far as like atmospheric black metal. But these guys come fucking damn close. Like... Just like Forgotten Legends. And this album is an absolute monster of an album. The orchestration. And this is all done by one guy, Alex von Meilenwald. What a fucking... This album... Everything Runes of Everest has ever done is just absolutely amazing. But this is, I think, their best. Um, just so... Uh, if you haven't heard Runes of Everest, please do yourself a favor and listen to this. It's, it's one of the best things ever. And then after that, what else do we have here? Here's a little, uh, I guess, kind of controversial one. This is Cradle of Filth, Dusk and Her Embrace. This is what got me into the genre. I don't care what the fuck anyone says. Early Cradle of Filth is, first of all, it's way better than early Dimmu Borgir. And these early records still fucking hold up. Not least because Nick Barker's drumming is just like, dude's a fucking incredibly talented musician not only that but the songs you know you got a gothic romance uh haunted shores dusk and embrace the title track heaven torn a sun this is an absolutely amazing album i don't care what anyone says man like cradle fells is like pretty lame now they still put out like the music's pretty good but the vocals are like all right just hang it up dude like it's enough <laughs> but back in the day man they made some great fucking albums and then we have, again, this is another staple, Transylvania Hunger. Uh, this is, in, in my opinion, their best album. It's between this and Under a Funeral Moon. I like I like um, A Blaze in the Northern Sky, but it, it, it doesn't hold up to this or Under a Funeral Moon. This is just a classic. And this was another one I bought when I was super young. I was just like, I don't get it. But now I'm like, okay, I get it. Super raw, uh, just an amazing album. After that, this actually might be my favorite black metal album like of all time. Philosophem by Burrism. I, it doesn't get any better than this, just period. I don't know what else to say. Jesus Todd is probably the best black metal song ever written. Uh, Raven from 1349 would probably agree with that. In one of his interviews, he said that the first two songs off this are just like the best black metal like ever made. Uh, this is an absolute masterpiece spanning across every musical genre ever made. I, I can't say enough good things about this. Um, this and the one before it. This and Ingrid Var is very good. The first album's pretty good. Everything else is kind of hit or miss, but yeah, the, you can't go wrong with this. And then after that, I'll go pretty quick here. Battery, I mean, come on. Like, fuck Venom. Who the fuck cares about Venom's goofy, boring, fucking, you know... Hi, Abbott. <laughs> yeah, my cat's name is Abbott. So. Um, but yeah, this is uh, the best of like the early shit. I, I love Sodom's first EP, but it's an EP. I wasn't going to include that in here. This is the best. Uh, again, fuck Venom. Who cares? <laughs> After that is 1349's Hellfire. What a fucking... Oh, man. It's like a lot of people are all about, like, Panzer Division Marduk. But, man, the blasting in this makes Panzer, Panzer Division Marduk look like a, like a bunch of pansies. <laughs> you know, like, 
I absolutely ferocious fucking album. The drumming is like, what the fuck? Just listen to Celestial Deconstruction, the end of Two Rotten Them, or From the Deeps. Uh, the last song, Hellfire, is like the the ending riff of that is like one of the most one of the greatest atmospheric black metal riffs like ever written. This is oh, this album is so fucking good. And then the last one, excuse me, Abbott. Thank you. Excuse me. Okay. Hi. I'm sleeping on one of my vinyls. And the last one, not, last but not least, Passage to Hibber, Das Tor. This was really hard to decide as far as their discography goes because they have so many good albums. But god damn, I was listening to this the other night and it was just like, oh my god. It's only four songs, but god damn, man. Like... Forget fucking Wolves in the Throne Room and Panopticon and Agalock and all that shit. This is fucking atmospheric black metal, the way it's supposed to be played. Forget all that shit. I mean, and again, this like Ruins of Beverest, this is a one-man project. Absolutely phenomenal. Pretty much everything he's ever done, the last album he released, I did not like. Geister, that was not very good. Uh, he tried to strip down the strong the songs and like make them kind of I don't know more accessible or whatever. But before that, Imwald was amazing, and then before Imwald was this. I want to say this was two thousand thirteen, and he repressed this on vinyl. Um, just absolutely fucking amazing album. Other great albums by Passage of Hiver. Winter Kalte, Kirker, the self-titled Passage to Hiver, Steinecke. Uh, he just has so many. Do yourself a favor and check this album out. Uh, it's long, but god damn, man. Some of the best fucking black metal you'll ever hear. So that's about it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, let me know if I missed anything. <laughs> I'll see you guys later.